Hello everybody, welcome to Varsity Sports Extra and the 2011 High School Football Preview. I'm your host Bobby Latmore and for the next two hours we're going to be bringing you the best of high school football here in the Southwest Georgia region. We covered 28 high schools all across the region to bring you the best of high school football here in Southwest Georgia. We're here at Bainbridge, Georgia, beautiful Centennial Field to kick things off and let's head out to Bainbridge High School to see how the Bearcats are going to fare here in 2011. And we're here at Bainbridge High School with Bearcat head coach Ed Pilcher. Coach, thanks for being on the show with us. Glad to be here. Coach. Looking at last year's schedule and the, and the record from last year, three and seven, some people may look down on that. But you know what? You were in a lot of games last year. Well, we were. We were in every game. We lost, uh, you know, a total of four, four or five ball games by, you know, 13 points. Uh, you know, when we lost our kicker in the second game of the season, you know, then, you know, we lose a game by two, I mean, by one, and uh, another game by one. We lose a game by a field goal. Uh, you know, we, you know, and we're not going to make excuses, but I think it, you know, it, it, having our kicker would have made a big difference in, you know, in some of the ball games that uh, we were close in. But that's 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 not an excuse. We got to we, we just didn't do a good job of overcoming adversity, and we tried hard, but we just didn't get it done. Coach, what's been this, uh, the message this summer and the summer workouts to these kids? Well, you know, we had a great summer. Our kids have been very responded to to what we've asked them to do. We've had great, great participation. You know, we've got between 80 and 90 kids in here on pretty much on a regular basis, and uh, they've been working hard, working extremely hard, and, you know, I just think that they, they, they hungry. You know, they're hungry. You know, and that's, that's the, you know, as long as they're hungry, and uh, the good thing about this team right now, we're young on both sides of the ball, but we have so much competition for positions that, you know, that makes makes good for practice because everybody's, busting their tail trying to get a win a position and getting playing time and and that's where it's been all summer so I, i've been real pleased with uh, what we've done so far this summer three and seven all right yes, not sir. something you can take home and write home to your parents about yes, but sir. you know what you guys were in every football game last year yes, i mean sir. you lost by one point three points tell us a little bit about that you guys were close last year yes sir uh last year you know we had, had some bad breaks got field goals and extra points i missed but this year we're going to get that together and try to Try to make those mistakes anymore. Try to win those games we could have won last year. Yeah. I feel like the fourth quarter was our downfall. You know, even though losing Keenan Allen was the field goal kicker, those those three points really count. So, yeah. You know, we're gonna try to work harder and finish in the fourth quarter to just try to make every play, every down. Yes, sir. What's been the coach's message this summer? Being so many games last year, being so close. What's been the coach's messages this summer with you guys' workouts and everything like that? I mean, you just got to push hard and finish hard to the end, to the fourth quarter. It's pretty much just been finished. Yeah, you know. Whole so yeah. it's basically almost like the University of Georgia when Coach Rick finished the drill kind of thing <laughs> here a little bit. What kind of things you guys worked on this summer, personally, to make yourselves get better so that you can finish the games? See, I watched a lot of film on myself last year. I played a little bit high. And I've been working this summer just more squats, more explosive jumps. Getting fast on my on my uh, sprint. It's gonna be a good year for Shamai, and I hope I can say the same thing for Anthony Jackson. But we we, we plan to surprise a lot of people that just think they're gonna roll over on Bamford this year. Oh yeah. The thing I've been working on, I've been working on my speed, um, pass rushing, cause that's the mainly thing I'm trying to get at when we play Carroll. Is get back down here. <laughs> um, so I got to get the pass rushing right. Um, we're just gonna be more physical this year, and we're gonna play more harder this year. That's a bet. Just because we went three or six, don't mean we're gonna get out of them this year. We're going, going all the way this year, all the way. Hey, coach, let's talk about 2011 coming into the season. Offensively, what do you guys look like this year offensively? Well, we got our running backs back. That's a great thing, right there. All three running backs are back. We got a couple of good uh, uh, ninth grade running backs coming up here. They're gonna be pretty good players. Uh, they won't see any varsity action much, but uh, uh, I'm, I'm excited about them. Um, our offensive line, we've got, uh, we got to rebuild a little bit, but we've got uh, a lot of juniors stepping up. Some of them played last year. We have a bunch of sophomores that played a lot last year mm -hmm. that are going to step in and be starters this year. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see. Quincy Fortner is going to be the quarterback and uh, very good athlete, great feet, uh, runs the option well. So, you know, we're excited about him. Coach, let's, turn, let's switch on the other side of the ball. What's defense look like this year? Well, we have two starters returning. 
And you know, and that looks bleak <laughs> yeah. right now. Uh -huh. But, you know, we got we got eight or ten DBs that are competing for four positions, and we got about five or six linebackers competing for three. So, uh, and then we got some depth. We think we're going to have some depth up front in, with our defensive line. Uh, I think I thought this spring we had a great spring practice with our defense with so many young people out there. We got a couple of kids back that weren't able to play last year or didn't play last year for uh, academic reasons, and you know they, having them back in the fold has really helped us. Uh, uh, both one or two of them will be starters, and the others will be strong backups. So, you know, we're young, but I'm encouraged. I really am. Uh, again, because the competition is so keen right now, our kids are really working at it. No doubt. Coach, you mentioned already you lost your kicker last year early in the season, which was very detrimental to a lot of the games that you did play. What special teams look like this year? Well, we got Daniel Province back who did a, who did a really good job in, uh, as far as extra points. He didn't miss but one extra point, but he missed every one of his field goals. You know, but that's okay. He was just a ninth grader. We got Paul Soden, hope that he'll come up and get better as a punter. And uh, so that those two will take care of the, uh, 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 of the kicking duties. So, I'm, I, you know, both of them are young. You know, one will be a sophomore, one will be a junior. So, uh, yeah, they're a little bit of inexperience other than Daniel got to kick, you know, get some kicks in, you know, uh, for extra point. Uh, I, I need somebody to kick off, and hopefully Daniel or one of them is going to be strong enough to handle that duty. Coach, talking to the kids earlier on, good chemistry so far. Everybody's really, you said, you said it yourself, the kids are hungry. What can we expect this year in 2011? Well, I know one thing, our kids, are, our, our kids, as always, they'll go out there and battle. There's no doubt about it. They'll be aggressive. They'll be physical. They'll run to the football. Uh, you know, and, you know, hopefully we'll get some good breaks this year. You know, we'll get a break or two. It makes a whole lot of difference in the ball game. In this, mm -hmm. in this game right in here, you gotta be, you got to be good, you know, a little bit. you got to have a little bit of talent, but uh, uh, you got to make some breaks and have some, some, some mistakes go your way, so to speak. So uh, we're, we're, we're good. Coach, always a pleasure. Good luck to you here in 2011. Thanks, Rod. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Thanks for being on the show. At Farm Credit, our roots run deep in this rich Georgia soil. We are the nation's leading provider of credit to farmers and farm businesses. And we know what it takes to grow your business. We've closed more loans on the hood of a pickup truck than some bankers will in a lifetime. We're proud of our history. Prouder still to finance the dreams of farmers, landowners, and agribusinesses. We're Farm Credit. We're here to help you grow. Are you ready for some football? <laughs> now let's head over to another hotbed here in Southwest Georgia and covers three schools in Thomasville that are looking for state championship runs here in 2011. Brookwood School, home of the Warriors, and head coach Robert East of the football team here in Brookwood. Coach, good to have you on the show. Thank you for having me. Coach, 5-5 five and five last year, pretty respectable year last year. Um, what, what, was, what was some of the things that you remember last year that was really beneficial? I mean, you got a good group of kids last year, didn't you? Well, we had a good group of kids, and we made great strides. We've come a long way in the two years that I've been the head coach here, uh, coming from uh, a real struggle in our last year in, in AAA classification. Um, and we made some accomplishments last year. The one thing that stands out for me is how many close games that we lost. So I hope that those serve as lessons for this year's team on how to finish games and how to win. Coach, what are some of the things you guys are doing this summer uh, that may have been a little different in the past? Uh, well, we spent a lot more time uh, working on our running, our speed, uh, our, our ability to endure. Uh, I think if you ask the guys, that's going to be the number one difference. Uh, we've incorporated the bigger, faster, stronger running program mm -hmm. this year, 
and it is a ho it has paid great strides in our endurance and hopefully it'll pay off for our, our football speed, our functional speed. What's been the message this summer? Uh, well, what we're preaching this year, or the theme is commitment. We're trying to uh, help them understand that commitment is not just an abstract theory. Commitment, uh, it, our slogan is commitment ignites action. That means if you're committed, then you do things about it. You had a pretty good senior class last year. What, is, what, kind of, what are some of the things that that senior class taught you guys for this year to be seniors this year? Um, I think leadership. We had a lot of leaders on that senior team, and I think we're pretty good leaders with the younger kids. Tell them they got to work hard, get in the weight room, the practice field, you got to focus every day. Um, it's going to hurt to lose those guys, but I think we can fill that role. Yeah, I definitely agree. I mean, we, uh, I guess it was about like maybe five or something, se some seniors. And uh, I mean, I d definitely think we have the potential to fill the role and uh, uh, teach all the freshmen how to um, get adjusted to like being in high school and stuff. But the five and five last year, mm -hmm. respectable. You know, we talked about we earlier. We talked about losing a lot of close games. Yeah. You know, coaches getting the message across this summer. What do you What are you guys hearing? Well, uh, we're just we run a lot, or and we're trying to get our endurance up because it wasn't really the fact. And at like we were last year, we were really conditioned at the end of the game, but it was just in the beginning of the game we lost a lot of points defensively, and then we had to pick back up, and we're gonna try and like play better throughout the whole game instead of just the end. Right, Tyler. Yeah, I think a lot of it had to do with our stamina and just the fact that we were tired in the fourth quarter. And this year, we've been running more than I've ever run before. So I think it's really going to help. What do you look forward to here in the 2011 season? I think our offense is going to be one of the best offenses in GISA. I don't see how they can stop us. Once we get the guys on the line as a cohesive group, it's going to be hard to stop. I mean, our, I mean, I guess that our problem is finding the offensive lineman. But Right now, just looking at it, I mean, our offensive, offensive linemen are going to be great. Um, we have uh, had a few guys who were, uh, didn't really go both ways, and now they're going to be going both ways and stuff. What do you expect this year in 2011, Tyler? Uh, I think we expect more wins. Hopefully we can compete for the region championship and the state championship. So, I mean, I guess we'll see how it works out. Excellent. Tyler? Uh, pa Paul? Yeah, I expect the same thing. I mean, we'll, we, I feel like we'll win more games. And we'll put up a bigger fight in region standing, and we'll go a little bit farther in state. I mean, we'll go to state. Coach, you lost a few kids last year that have been, you know, were here for this pro in this program a long time. Um, looking at this summer and everything like that, watching you a couple times in seven on sevens, you still look pretty strong this year. Well, our skill positions are uh, very old. We've got lots of seniors at those positions. Uh, we returned almost everybody in the backfield with the exception of Paul Brewer at fullback, and that's enabled us to, to, uh, to be a little bit more cohesive at this point in the year. The biggest uh, thing that we've got to replace are the two offensive guards. Uh, those positions are key in the wing tee offense. Both of them graduated last year, Hayes Balfour and Chance Arbin, and mm -hmm. those guys are going to be missed. And we're looking forward to see who stands up and takes their position. Um, mm -hmm. Another key replacement will be the split end on offense uh, that uh, graduated last year in Ryan Hudson. What about defensively coming into this year? Well, you know, we're a small enough school. I think most GSA AA schools are going to have the majority of their kids going both ways. Right. And the losses that we had at guard are also our losses at inside linebacker. Mm -hmm. So whether we have the same two kids that play both positions on uh, offense and defense, or we have four kids that come in and establish themselves in those positions, what we need is some young guys to step up and take those positions. Coach, you've been very benefit. I mean, very lucky to have the kind of kicking team that you've had the last few years with the Hudson boys. With them gone now, what, what are we looking for? Well, we're looking to Taylor Bragg as a, uh, as a place kicker. Uh, and probably to lead us on kickoff as well. Um, as far as our, we don't use a lot of traditional punt. Mm -hmm. We tend to set up in a shotgun position, uh, shotgun formation, and quick kick if a certain read is not there for us mm -hmm. to be able to pick up a fake. So uh, that's a position that Taylor served in last year as well. Uh, for our uh, growth in terms of our program and our longevity, we're also trying to find either a freshman or a sophomore to serve in those roles to back Taylor up so we can continue to develop for the future. And what are your expectations this year? Well, we want to go 1-0 and every week. That's our goal. And if you keep adding those up, it, it, it adds up to be a good thing. We're excited about what we've got going forward. We're thrilled about their work ethic. We're hoping that their commitment continues where it's been the last few months. So we're expecting big things.
joined here at Thomasville High School with head coach Richie Marsh and a senior, Quintez Spear. Coach, tell us a little bit about this summer. How are things going? We're very pleased with the way they work. And, uh, it was a short summer, but we're very pleased with the turnout. Good. Now, you've had a lot of different changes. You had a lot of seniors last year that graduated from Thomasville. Now, how, how is things looking to refill those shoes that graduated from last year? Well, I mean, defensively, we only have two returning starters. And, and, and that's Quintez here and Tyree. And they're both playing different positions. But, so we'll have 11 new faces over there, but we're very pleased with the way we thought we had a good camp in Florida, and we're very pleased with the way they come out and work. No doubt. Coach, 9-4 and four last year, always looking to, to improve every each year to year. What can you do this year to improve in well, 2010? Number one, we tried to improve our coaching staff. Mm -hmm. uh, we went out and hired a offensive coordinator, and we were very blessed to hire a, a guy that had, has been a head coach in college and very successful. And, then, and we just challenged these guys when they come back after Christmas that we really need to do something different, work a little harder, and I thought they, they, they responded, and we're, we're very pleased with that. What have you done to prepare yourself this year as a senior in high school now? How does it feel to be a senior? You're a big man on campus now. How's that feel? Does that feel awesome? You ready for it to go? You ready for the season to start? What have, what kind of personal goals do you have you set for yourself this year? That's good. Where do you want to go to school at? Just whoever comes to get you? I really ain't made a mind up yet. Seniors this year. How's it feel? Good. good. You ready for the season? What about school? You're big man on campus now. Yes, sir. How's that feel walking through the halls? Good. Being a leader. Being at school. You're gonna be do what? Being a leader at the school. Being a leader at the school as well. What kind of what do you mean by that? Showing good character. Good character. That's always important, isn't it? Yes, sir. I'll point here when you go. I always want to have good character. That's exactly right. That's what coaches college coaches look for now. Not only so much an athlete, but look at that character now, don't they? Yes, sir. You guys get preached that a lot from Coach Marsh. Yes, sir. What's been this what's how's summer been going? Good. What are you guys Hard. been doing? Ready to Lift the hard. Anything different this summer than the previous summers? Yes, sir. Just the same old get after it, huh? Get in. Well, GBT. GBT? What's that? Get, get better, better today. today. Get better today. Is that the motto that you guys have here at Bulldog Camp? Yes, yes, sir. Sir. I love saying Bulldog. Man. That's a job. I'm a Jordan guy. I love Bulldogs. You almost got the colors, but the yellow will get rid of me. No, I'm just kidding with you. <laughs> but you got Thomasville, great tradition here. I mean, look back at the history of Thomasville High School. Do you guys feel that you guys got to keep that up, or do you have a little more, a little, a little nervous about doing that? How do you feel about all that stuff? I feel we got to keep it going. Thomasville always is talking about it. Uh huh. So we got to give what they want. Give them what they want. Yeah, what what's that? Want. Hard hit. Hard hit? What else is there? Make it pretty hard. Make it hard? Harder than the game? What about winning? That's a must. That's a must. People don't accept anything but winning, don't they? Especially here in Thomasville. It's a great tradition. I love it here. I love Thomasville. It's a great town. You guys have done, you worked hard this summer, gone through the summer program. What's been the message from Coach Marsh this summer for you guys to get better for 2011? Leadership? You got to keep the team as a one. Everybody gonna get a one. If we get us a one, then we just create our own state. You've had great senior leadership before. What have you learned from them now that you're teaching the younger kids now? We're gonna have to get uh, corner. Not, uh, can't, can't be weak. Safety. Can't, can't, be. Safety. can't be weak. Can't be weak. Whatever position you at, work at it. Practice on your off time if you can. Get at least 30 minutes uh, to an hour. Uh -huh. Work hard at work. Work hard at whatever position you do so you can pass some knowledge down on to. The upcoming, the upcoming seniors, yeah. right? And the person behind you. I hear you. Stay focused. Excellent point. Excellent point, guys. Nine and four last year. Good year. Yes, sir. Very good year. Yes, sir. Can you can make it better this year? Okay. Don't be better. You're gonna be better. Don't be better. Well, let me ask you a question. Is this team? How does this team compare to last year's team? I feel we gotta work harder because we lost a lot. We lost like most of the whole line. Little things. So we gotta focus on little things. Get everybody as a one, so if everybody as a team, we go out there and have fun and win at the same time. Coach, looking at your schedule in 2011, always very hard. You start off with your rival number one here in Thomasville. What can, what kind of things have you worked this summer each day to, to, to prepare each week for those uh, those teams that you're going to see in your region? Well, I mean, we, we understand and we play. That's what that's what's great about our schedule. We there's no room for a team to feel. Uh, uh, I feel like they've gotten any better than they really are. We haven't done anything yet with this team, and, and we get to start out fresh with our crosstown rivals. So we, we, we you know, 
that's that's. Uh, but we got love the love at line before that, so uh, so that's going to be a big game for us here, and we take one game at a time, and we're really looking to the scrimmage next week in Western. We got to go out and have a good show in there, Coach. 2010 again ran into a buzzsaw at the end of the year at Carver High School. Then you, then you guys regrouped here over the summer. Have you changed up anything with the new coaching staff as far as your work ethic over the summer than what you have in the past? No, we were very pleased with the way we worked in the past. We just thought we needed a little more wisdom on offense, and, and we were blessed to get that. And uh, So that's the that's the major change that we had. Everything else is pretty much the same. Coach, I'm going to put you on the spot. Any predictions? How does the team look? Where we stack we up? We just know we're going to show up next Thursday against West Oak and we're going to play hard. Game by game. There you go. Coach, thank you very much for your time. Thank we appreciate you. it. Central, home of the Yellow Jackets, and I'm joined by Coach Bill Shaver. Coach, thanks for being with us today. Oh, thank you for coming out. Coach, great year last year, eight and three, second in the region, six and one. Tell me a little bit about last year. Well, you know, we start off with our big three, big three rival games, and uh, everybody got their money's worth. You know, we played Thomasville uh, at their place and uh, came down to basically almost the last play of the game we were able to win, which is always good when you win the Crosstown rival game. Uh, then we have the game against Coquit County and, mm -hmm. and all their stars they have and, and uh, goes to overtime and, uh, you know, we score in overtime and, uh, and miss the extra point, you know, so right. it now it puts them a little advantage because they score and kick the extra point, then, uh, then they can win it. It's over with. So uh, they actually get a first down down about two yard line and, you know, it's looking kind of bleak and uh, they run a running play in there and our, and our defensive tackle knocks the ball out. We recover the fumble, so we win that one. Right. So, uh, come the next week, we're playing another big rival at home, Cairo, goes to overtime again. Um, they score the first overtime, first play of the game, we get it down to the two, very similar right. to what, very similar to what Calk would have done the week before, and then we can't get it in, so we lose. So, uh, so the first three games against the rivals, I guess when you start the season off, you're, you're wanting to, if you say, hey, what, what would you be satisfied with is if you can go two and one in those rival games, you feel pretty good. Obviously, you want to go three and oh, but if you right. get a two and one in those kind of games, you, you feel like you've, you're getting ready to head into your region schedule the way you want to. And, and so we did. And then we go into the region and we're, and we're uh, you know, we play hard away first. And then we, then we play north side of Columbus and, and uh, you know, getting ready to head in, uh, play Houston, you know, three games. Right. And uh, I think we were breaking down the film uh, this summer and, uh, and, we had gone like uh, 10 straight series where we had scored going into the north side game. Mm -hmm. So we had to feel like we were hitting on all cylinders. Absolutely. Defense were, had, uh, had done a great game against Houston right before the north side game, which is going to be the region championship game, and uh, had a little hiccup there. We uh, uh, actually was a game our offensive line had their best game of the season. We just had a little trouble in the backfield and uh, didn't execute maybe the way we needed to. Mm -hmm. So uh, so north side was able to beat us and have the odds on favor for the region championship, but our guys uh, rebounded from that and came back and won the rest of the games and got us the second seed so we'd host a, a playoff game and then uh, then we laid, definitely laid an egg in a playoff game offensively. You know, defensively we played well. I mean, we don't give up a touchdown, you think you ought to have a chance to win. Right, we, right. Uh, you know, they kicked five field goals, uh, Dutch Town, they had a great kicker. I mean, mm -hmm. it, you know, when they kick a field goal, now he's kicking off and he's kicking the ball off out of the end zone. And so we're always starting from a 20 and, uh, and uh, their defense is playing lights out, and uh, we're not doing a good job of handling the blitz. And so uh, our season kind of ended a little bit earlier than we wanted to. But it was a it was a fun year. Had a lot of great seniors that we're really going to miss. And uh, um, but it, you know it was it was a good group to coach. Summer workouts. I've talked to a couple other guys. Interviewed a couple other players. <laughs> Is that a little bit harder this year? Yeah, they are. Is a lot it harder? harder. A what's, lot the, harder. what's the difference from this from the years past? Uh, we're doing a lot of circuits. We're doing a, a bunch of lifting, a bunch of lifting, a lot of circuits. The circuit is, you know, you never stop. It's like a 20-second lift, and you never stop. You get about 10 reps. If you get 10 reps before the 20 seconds is up, you still keep pushing. 
And that's, that's what I mean by leadership. You keep going hard. Me, I'm a leader vocally in the weight room. I keep talking. I keep everybody talking. Coach, don't see me talking. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You pick it up. Get everybody right. to step it up in there. And we're totally opposite. He does vocally. I just show it. And uh, in the weight room, you know, he's, uh, Coach said that we might not beat him talent, but, you know, just going hard and uh, pushing through it, we'll beat him like that. Just better condition. Yeah. What's been the message this year? I mean, losing early out in the playoffs last year. What's been the message this summer with uh, Coach Shaver and what he's passing down to you guys? Uh, really just uh, not giving up even when you uh, get scored on, you know, just give you 100% all day long and you'll come up with the win. Mm-hmm. Coaches are happy with 100%. They're happy if we went hard the whole game. They're happy with that. You know, this is a group that a lot of people around this town has been talking about. And they, you, you know, Garrett, you said it right. The expectations are high this year. Is that pressure on you guys, or is it motivation? It's motivation. It's a little bit of both, actually. Yeah, it's a little bit of both. I'd say. And we're all seniors now, so I mean, expectations are through the roof and whatnot. So a little more intense than it was last year. Guys, last year, great year, very good year. Unfortunately, exiting early in the playoffs. What's been the message that you guys are hearing from your coaches this year? That it's not. Anything is not just going to be given to us because we're Thomas County. You know, we, we've got expectations, we've got tradition, but we've got to go out and we've got to live up to it. Nobody's just going to sit there and back down because we're Thomas County Central. It's, we're going to have to get after it, get after it, and get after it every play. Yeah, but uh, what's the farthest we went in playoffs or sophomore year? Like third yeah, round? Yeah, third round. I want to go farther than that. See, I want to go to the Dome. So ever, since, dome? ever since I was little, I always wanted to play in the dome because I used to go back in the 90s when, you know, Central had all their heydays, and I just always wanted to play in there, even when I was a little boy. Well, you guys got the opportunity to do that this year. Mm -hmm. Stepping into their shoes this year, what what do you guys, what's the prediction here? What's the expectations here in 2011? We want to go farther than what we did last year. What, Jonathan? High standards. High standards? I'm, I'm going for the ring. You want the ring? I'm going for the ring. That's my main. That's my main goal. Hurry I'm going for it out. My last year, I'm going out with a bang. That's what would be nice, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. Guys, you guys got a tough schedule. No question about it. No question about it. You guys play the best of the best all over the place. What's one game that you guys circle on the calendar this year? I want Northside. You want Northside? I want, want K-Ro back, too. Oh. And yeah, they took away my touchdown last year uh -huh. in overtime. Uh-huh. They called my touchdown, but they say get in, so. Little revenge, I'm and little revenge factor. Little revenge factor. So no, no stopping you this year. This year, I'm yeah. going for it all. Last year, uh, one of them was Eric Dotson, your quarterback. Last year, one of the finest young men I've ever had the pleasure of meeting. He's your quarterback now. You got to replace him this year, but you don't have too much of a trouble replacing him, do you? Well, well, you know, Eric uh, was. Um, what you want to call a program player for is yeah, because, absolutely. because he was our ball boy when right. he was about fifth grade all the way up. <laughs> and, uh, you know, he finally grew into the body where he could where he could play. And right. and, uh, and really when he was in high school, we didn't know he was going uh, – I mean, he actually played wide receiver and, uh, and quarterback. Mm -hmm. So he ended up kind of winning the quarterback job and uh, had an awesome junior year, rushed for close to 1,000, threw for like 1,200 yards until he comes into his senior year, rushes for 1,000, over 1,000. Only one in the region to rush for over 1,000 yards and, mm -hmm. and threw for about right at 800 and just had a, had a great career for us and great little leader and uh, got him a scholarship to go play at Shore University. Right. and. Uh, Got a chance to start there, so so we're gonna miss him because I mean his enthusiasm was a big thing for our kids. Right. Um, of course, we got Adam Choice that was his backup last year. He was a freshman, gonna be a sophomore. Um, you know, talent-wise, I mean you can't ask for anything more than what right. Adam's got. I mean right. the body, you know, a lot bigger than Eric, uh, mm -hmm. a lot stronger. You know, of course Eric was as quick as a hiccup. You know, Adam sure. just as fast as he is, but a lot more size. Adam doesn't throw the ball quite as well as Eric did. So, uh, you know, that's the thing we were trying to work on this summer of our 7-on-7 seven seven passing league and uh, trying to work on Adam's throwing. But we're going we're gonna to miss uh, Eric, but it's good as you do have somebody like Adam to come in and take his place. Nope, 2011. You guys are still pretty strong on that offensive line, aren't you? Well, we have five guys back that all started mm -hmm. at one point in time last year. So uh, Peyton Glass at center is probably the, uh, probably the stalwart there. He, he'll be a three-year starter. He's been uh, unanimous all-region center two years in a row. and. Uh, He's kind of our kind of lineman, you know. He's not big, 
you know, nothing that, uh, that any, any big college is going to come calling for, but, I mean, he's going to scrap you the whole time. You know, he's got that wrestling mentality, uh -huh. and so he, uh, you know, he's a great wrestler for us, and so he's, uh, he's been a scrapper ever since, and that's the kind of lineman we like to have, and uh, so he's, he's, kind of the, he's kind of the glue that holds it all in there together. How's your running back situation and wide receivers coming back, thanks, from this year? Well, we only have we got one running back back and no receivers. So uh, we have James Davis back who started for us for mm -hmm. two years. He rushed for about 500 yards last year. Of course, we're losing Curtis Brooks, who, right. uh, you know, has for two years in a row rushed for 1,000 yards mm -hmm. each. And uh, he was, he was a, you know, he was, again, kind of the glue that held the running backs together. Right. He kind of kept James straight. Now <laughs> now it's going to be James's time to keep his other running back straight. So we, uh, the preseason is going to be a, a big to see who's going to take that spot. We've got about four kids that are going to battle. They're all, they're all young. Uh, Damian Williams is a, will be a junior. Uh, bigger back, a little bigger than, you know, he's about 245, right, you know, right. bigger than what we normally play with. Then we got three sophomores, uh, DeAndre Cooksey and Shaquille Coleman and James Hutchison that will, that will all four of those will, you know, will battle for that spot. All four will probably have to play. They, uh, uh, a couple of them also play in the secondary, so they're kind of two-way players. And then, okay. uh, and then we got a couple of young freshmen that, uh, you know, that we want to kind of see them when we get, when we get the pads on. What are you doing this year to replace them on defense? Well, that's that's the other big hole is that in our back, what we call our back seven, our our four linebackers and our three secondary. You know, we only have one returner. Right. So uh, you know, we lost uh, um, a great player in Jamal Choice mm -hmm. at, at the inside middle inside linebacker that was our leading tackler, and uh, got to replace him. Darren Kilgore is probably the one that's going to take him. Great, great young man, do exactly what you ask him to do, and uh, you know, just kind of kid you're going to pull for because he, you know, he's a, he's a a classic program player for you. Uh, the leader back there is going to be uh, going to be John Esther that plays the outside linebacker. He played opposite of Toby Eaton last year, and you know Toby was a big stud coming back. And a lot of people ran away from Toby last year and kind of ran towards right. John. Right. And, and John just had a great season. He was our uh, third leading tackler on the team. Uh, so he's uh, he's the only returner back there. He's a great player for us. Uh, Again, not the size that all these big colleges are going to come looking for, you know, because he's about 5'6 and, mm -hmm. you know, 165 pounds. But, you know, he's just a, a ball of muscle and, uh, you know, just uh, high energy, you know, great tackler. And uh, he's going to have to he's going to have to hold them together. You know, of course, the other big one lost uh, our free safety, Eric Hollis, was our right. was our was our third leading tackler back there. And he we had moved him over from secondary and from from to secondary from wide receiver last year. And he did a great job just growing all season mm -hmm. long. And uh, Winston Codlin's going to probably take his place there. Winston's a little smaller free safety than you normally play with. So, uh, uh, but he's uh, you know he's a very coachable young man and wants to do well. Worked his tail off in the you know in all season to try to add as much muscle as he could to that small frame. So mm -hmm. the, you know you take some pounding in an eight-man front at, at a safety, you're almost like an extra linebacker. So. Right. So those guys have got to grow up really quick back there. No, they're still strong on the defensive line. You've always been strong here in, at Central on the defensive line. How's it looking this year? For well, again, kind of like our offensive line, that's where we got the most experience right. back. We've mm -hmm. got we've got three guys back that, that all started last year. Uh, Damian Williams uh, it will be our uh, our five technique in. Mm -hmm. um, kind of, uh, you know, he played opposite Ray last year, and there actually were a few games where I think he even outplayed Ray. Okay. And uh, so he had a he had a really good junior year. He's going to also double as a tight end. So he's going to, you know, he's kind of so double duty. Both ways Both as well. Both ways yeah. with us at tight end and defensive end. And yeah, he'll play defensive end the whole time. We'll rest him at tight end. <laughs> so, uh, and then we got uh, the other two guys back are uh, Jamal McNeil, that was a defensive tackle, our weak side tackle. And then uh, Jalen Snee was our strong side tackle. We're moving him out to take Ray's spot out there at the, mm -hmm. at the, at the strong side end. And then Caleb Altry, who's uh, probably pound for pound. I mean, he's a good sized guy, but he's the strongest guy we got in the weight room. I mean, he's, you know, bencher, big bencher, squatter, you know, just right. a whole lot of weight. So a big, strong guy to be able to move into the inside and kind of command some double mm -hmm. teams to, to give those young, young linebackers a, a chance. Because, you know, the other linebacker I didn't mention, Keyshawn Peak is a runner. I mean, you know, he he loves to go tackle, but sideline to sideline. But but you got to keep people off of him. Right. So uh, you know, so that'll be the job of those of that defensive front to, to keep it off of off of those off of those linebackers, so they can kind of make a chance. So it's good to have some experience in there up front, mm -hmm. kind of like we do on offense. You know, right. you got, you're experienced up front, so you that that should help your younger people back in behind them. Special teams this year, you're returning your kicker this year. Gavin Wilson did a you know freshman last year. You know, stepped in did a. Did a great job. Almost hit a you know a game-winning field goal there in the in the Colquitt game right mm -hmm. before uh, right before overtime. Did a, did a good job for it. Didn't get a field goal kick. You know didn't make one this year, this past year. But uh, 
you know, uh, converted, uh, I think, uh, almost 90% of his extra points. Coach, always great tradition here. It's always good to come back and see you. We appreciate everything, and we do nothing but wish you good luck for the 2011. All right. Thank you, Bobby. Appreciate Thank you. it. Yes, sir. Are you ready? So, make sure you catch it on Varsity Sports Extra. Welcome back everybody to the 2011 High School Football Preview here on Varsity Sports Extra. We hope you've enjoyed the four schools so far and there's so much more to come. You know, we were out at all the high schools this summer filming these segments for our show. You may only see five minutes, but we were out there about 30 to 40 minutes filming a lot more. For more on those interviews, make sure you go to www.varsitysportsmanagement.com. Now let's continue things rolling along here by heading down to Indian Country down at Seminole County High School. Seminole County High School, home of the Indians. And I'm here with Coach Alan Ingram. Coach, good to have you with us. Well, just like I, I told you just a minute ago, <laughs> at my age, you're always glad to be where you're supposed to be when, <laughs> when you're supposed to be there. I hear you, Coach. I hear you. Hey, listen, um, talk to me about last season. Very respectable last season. Um, you finished second in the region, and then you, you came, just went seven and four during the year. I mean, tell me, tell me some of the highlights last year of last year's season. Well, probably the, the biggest highlight uh, overall was, uh, you know, the emergence of uh, uh, Javaris Virgin. Mm -hmm. Steve Virgin with, uh, when, when uh, Chris Brown went down with the hip, mm -hmm. you know, dislocation, and uh, we went up to Westland and uh, ran out die quite a bit, and it wasn't very pretty up there. D had never, you know, never run the ball that much, but, uh, you know, he had a good lesson while he was up there. Right. Came back and you know picked up about eight nine hundred yards filling in for Chris. Right. So that was a you know probably one of the highlights of the year. Uh, early County game, Miller County game. You know, played two two really good teams and uh, uh, you know played well against those. And that's our arch rival. I don't know how many years it's been since Seminole County's beaten the both of those in the same year. But, right. Uh, so that definitely was a highlight. Uh, but you know those. Uh, there's uh, seven guys that I started, uh, you know, either side of the ball uh, as freshmen. You know, those guys growing up a little bit and, and, and taking control. Uh, and, and then, of course, we have all those guys back this year, you know. So uh, uh, if we can get some leadership out of that, that's the biggest thing. It's a great bunch of athletes, mm -hmm. uh, great bunch of guys, you know, got, uh, you know, good, well-mannered kids, but 
they want somebody else to tell them what to do. Mm -hmm. You know, they lead them around, so we're, we're fighting and pushing, trying to get somebody to step forward and be the leader. Some of your highlights that you guys remember from last year. Well, I remember when we played against Miller County and we beat them home. Like, it's been a minute since we beat them uh -huh. down here, so that made us feel real good last year. Yeah. What about you? Basically, in the Miller County game, you know, that's a big rivalry game. Everybody, you know what I'm saying, come out and watch us. Get a lot of fans out there watching us, supporting us. We just go out there and do our whole thing. Chris, how about you? I was just proud to be back on the team after a long injury. Uh-huh. Now, is your injury good? You good now with it's all good. your injury and everything like that? How's 100%. prognosis for you? 100%. Now, you got hurt early last year, didn't you, unfortunately? Yes, and everything looks good. You've rehabbed and everything's back. You're back. Yes, that's 100%. great for this. That's great for everybody here in Donaldsonville, no doubt about it, in Seminole County. Guys, what's been the, what's been the message this summer going through camp? What is Coach Ingram uh, preaching to you guys to, to do to get better? To become a family, like uh, learn to love each other, you know, mm -hmm. work as a team. That's the, main, that's the main thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he just wants to, you know what I mean? Yeah, Everybody go 100%, baby. Yeah. Do all things, all that shit. We got to sign. Don't cheat yourself. Finish the drill. That's the only thing you tell us to mm -hmm. do. Finish the drill. Finish the drill. Kind of yes, like sir. the Coach Rick kind of thing from passed down from the University of Georgia. Yes, what are some of the things you're looking for personally for yourself to do here in your senior year? Just have good work ethics, work, work, work ethics and stuff. Mm -hmm. Any personal goals, like things you want to do as far as end of the season with or anything like that? Just win State championship. championship. Win State championship. championship. Daz, is that how you feel too? Yeah, <clears throat> most likely. Most likely? Sure. What about you, Andrew? Yeah, that's what I want. Your personal goals basically yeah, to uh, win State that State Championship, championship play in the Dome? <clears throat> play in the Dome? Okay. What are some of the things you guys are doing in the summer to make that happen? Going to camp. We went to a lot of camp this year. Did you? We were working hard. Got from, from Atlanta camp last weekend. Uh huh. Day. What are you learning from these camps and uh, bringing it back and utilizing it with your program? Take uh, meets. You know what I'm saying? And uh, how to add that practice. Yeah. Like, don't play around and talk and listen. Do mm -hmm. what you're supposed to do. Mm hmm. How, yeah, it's your job. Howard, these are. What's Coach Ingram preaching this summer? Um, home as one, be a team. Be a team. Be a team? Yes, sir. Preaching this, saying that we need to come together as a team, work hard. Mm -hmm. We got to pay off at the end. Pay off at the end? Yes, sir. What's the end, fellas? What's the end result? You want to be the champion. Be you the want champion. to be the championship, right? Yes, sir. Coach, let's talk about the season coming up, 2011. It's almost on us, right around the corner. Oh, yeah. What about offensively? What do you got coming back this year? Uh, we, we uh, honestly, with, uh, you know, with Chris back in the picture, we've got uh, uh, nine or ten of those guys back. We, uh, you know, we used uh, a couple of guys out there as wide receiver seniors, but we used the underclassmen just as much. So the center, uh, Tanner Harper, is up at uh, 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 the Apprentice School at, mm -hmm. in, in Virginia. Uh, he was a, a you know, a, a three-year starter for us. It was a, uh, we'll miss him, but uh, we moved our left tackle to the center position. Mm -hmm. We've got our number two which was actually our number six offensive lineman, moved back into that left tackle position. He played a lot, had a lot of play in time. So, uh, you know, I just don't, to me, I look at it like we've got our 11 back. Right. We're close, you know, close to it. So we, we didn't lose a whole lot on, on offense. Uh, on, the, on the flip side of the ball there, defensively, very same thing. Uh, you know, Tanner played a very little, little for us. We used Quan Johnson out there as a cornerback. Uh, had another kid that played almost as much as he did. And, mm -hmm. and uh, so, uh, you know, Chris back in there will have that. The biggest concern with me is, is, is trying to find some other bodies, you know, to mm -hmm. fill in for those guys. We're going to have to have six, seven, or eight offensive linemen, uh, five, six, seven defensive linemen in there. And uh, uh, defensively trying to find another outside linebacker another inside linebacker, and then a couple of secondary guys, you know, to fill in is the biggest thing. Offensively, I think we're pretty well set. We're going to do the very same thing we did last year and, and, and in previous years. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, we're going to have uh, most time 10 people inside the box and uh, on both sides of the ball. And, uh, well, on defensively, they're accusing me of having 11 within a yard of the line of scrimmage. But, uh, we're up there pretty close. Sometimes we may have a lot, but I don't know. But, uh, most of the guys are coming back anyway. That's great. Coach, tell me, you know, one thing, other thing, the offense, defense, but you also got special teams that help you out a little bit and or could deter you. So how's that looking for you in 2011? Well, 
you know, we lost our extra point kicker, and so that's that's a big thing right now, trying to find that. We've got our kickoff guy and our punter back, you know, which mm -hmm. quarterback. Uh, uh, but uh, special teams guys again, you know, we, we should be strong there. The, the, the biggest problem is, is uh, you've got these guys who started at these positions two or three years, and that's going to be the same thing on all three, you know, phases: of game, offense, defense, and special teams is. Uh, uh, getting the complacency out of these guys, you know, we start to try to tell them something and, and they play the position so long they may know it, and, but they think they know more mm -hmm. than we do, for sure. <laughs> uh, and uh, so yesterday, you know, I just remember I t we, we had a little team meeting there for about two minutes and I told them, I said, you know what, I think all this stuff will work a whole lot better if you just come out here and do what you normally do, normally do, and that's play dumb. <laughs> play like you've never played the game before, that you don't know anything at all about the game, and at least humor me enough to listen to what I've got to say about, you know, the uh, techniques and so forth, and, and, and do the same with the other coaches. So uh, uh, we'll see how that works. So yes, just the figure it out as it goes. <laughs> <laughs> Coach, Coach, always a pleasure. You bet. Good luck in 2011. Thanks, sir. I'll tell you what, it's been a lot of fun filming these schools and these players and these coaches. We've had a great time battling the heat and battling the gnats, as you can see down there in Seminole country. Now let's head up to Pelham, where there's a new head football coach at Pelham High School, followed by Mitchell County, and see how the Eagles are going to fare here in 2011. And welcome to Pelham High School. Home of the Hornets with first-year head coach Frankie Carroll. I'm not going to say first-year head coach, <laughs> but the first time here at Pelham High School. Coach, good to see you. Good, good to be here. It's a blessing well, to be here. What? Uh, no, amen to that. No doubt about that. Coach, coming from Florida, now you're in Georgia. How's it feel? Oh, it feels great. It's, uh, always you heard about Georgia high school football, and now I'm, I'm right in the middle of it. So. <laughs> <laughs> you went right in the fire. <laughs> right in, right in, right in the fire. fire. So it's, it's, a, it's a lot of fun. Got some great kids. And, Coach Pelham, a small town, right. almost what you were used to in That's Madison, right. just That's a little right. bit, maybe a little bit smaller, but you got great talent here, don't you? We get, we have some athletes now. We do, and uh, they're working hard, and they're mm -hmm. they, 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 they a little hungry. So uh, we're having a good time. Had a great summer, great summer. Good. Coach, when you first came to Pelham, got hired as a coach, what was the first message that you sent to these kids saying that you wanted to accomplish? They got to believe. Believe? Yeah, they got to believe. Uh, they got to. Uh, believe that when they walk on the field, they can play with anybody out there. Uh, and it's all between the ears, so to speak. That's what they got to do. They got to mm -hmm. change the mindset. What kind of things did you change as far as uh, the workouts and as far as the plays and stuff like that, as far as the, the schemes that you run? Have right. you changed all that? Yeah, we, well, you know, I think they were a spread team last year, and, and we went, you know, we're going to run the wing, and mm -hmm. um, we're going to run the. Uh, 3-4 defense, which is nothing but a 50 with the ends backed off. That's it. it. <laughs> so, uh, and uh, just basically just change from working out in the afternoon during the summer. We worked out in the morning. Mm -hmm. uh, had, had great participation. Went to some camps mm -hmm. and uh, uh, that sort of thing. That's about all we changed. With a new coach coming in, a new system, new things that are happening, what's been different about this summer than the past? Well, we've been having new plays. Mm -hmm. Everybody, more people on the football team, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Everybody's been working hard. It's, de it's definitely changed the mentality of things. Mm -hmm. You know, you, uh, you have a, a series of losing seasons, mm -hmm. and then for a new coach and a new system and a, pretty much a whole new brand new coaching staff to come in, the mentality really changes. The pride really changes. You know, mm -hmm. you, you get caught up in the moment of you can do it. You know, you can, you can be better than what you have been being, and it's definitely in us. We can do it, and we are going to do it. That's great. Great. Yeah, he really morality. boosted up the morale of this school. He yeah. brought new hope to this school. You're gonna be a senior football player this year. What do you? How you gonna think you're gonna feel about that? Walk through the halls. Um, it feels it feels better. I mean, normally just coming to as a kid, really just playing one sport, and not coming in playing two sport. And big as I am, I feel like I should have been playing. But mistake I made, I just gotta learn from it. Make the best of this year. No doubt. But you didn't make a mistake. You just didn't have the opportunity, and Coach Carroll gave you an opportunity, didn't he? Well, yeah, it's true that. What kind of messages are you hearing from the new coaching staff here? Oh, uh, they, they every bit of, they like it. You know, they're seeing young guys step up. You know, they ain't never been around no young athletic guys like you know like we are. And you know, from last year having a losing season, you know, like they said, we shouldn't even had that. You know, mm -hmm. but everything he said, you know, it's all time now. You know, to shine and you know, to put Pelham back on the spot. 
Is the excitement back? I know it was here. I know it's always been here. Pelham's always been a very rich tradition football town. But low, little, little, little low the last few years. But right now, I mean, how's the excitement? Is it, oh, is it building oh, yeah, back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Is it, it, it really it, it, people it around right. town yes. talking things yes. up yes. and stuff like that? Yes. Everything's excited, isn't yes. it? Yes, sir. Now, you, you, seniors this year, big yeah. men on campus. Yeah, How yeah, is sir. that going to feel when you guys walk Ooh, in the hall here woo. pretty soon? <laughs> it's going to be crazy. Man. Crazy? Yeah. Yeah. Gonna get How crazy going to get? It's going to be crazy. Man. You know, we got to look out for the younger guys. Make sure they're doing it right. We got a big responsibility now ourselves this year. Oh, oh, fans, a winning like, season. Sure. Oh, win, a winning season. Dome. 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 I'm, 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 I got my, about the dome. I got my bad pack for Atlanta. Let's first, go. you know, first you got to make it a region. Yeah, but right. region, yeah. Right. You know, states. Mm. We're going to take it a game by game. Yeah, game by game. game, 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 by game. game. We ain't going to rush. No rush. No game. We're going to take it week by week. It's a strong region. Strong. With God. And I don't care what anybody says. Anytime you look at a region in football in Georgia, region one is always the toughest. I don't care what division you're in. Yeah, region sure. 1 is always the toughest. Now, that's sure. a tough region, and you guys are already talking about region championship and Dome. Yes, sir. Got it. Is this, you guys got that much excitement yes, and that sir. much yes. confidence. Yes, sir. EPS. Talk 2011, and I don't want to open your playbook, <laughs> but you did mention that you, this Pelham is changing from a spread offense right. going to a wing. Right. So how difficult has that been to train these kids to tell them that? Are they picking it up fast, or has they, it been difficult? They are, but it, it's, it's a little different than, mm -hmm. you know, uh, than the spread offense. And, and so – We've worked real hard on it, and, and we had a great spring with mm -hmm. it. And uh, so um, we, we, we went to AFCK camp last week and, mm -hmm. and done some good things with it. You good. know, we're not a passing team, but, right. you know, uh, we can throw the ball. We got uh -huh. some good receivers that can catch, and we got a, a good quarterback, too, that can throw it some. Well, that's good. So, uh, you know, we, we're going to be able to keep people honest. No doubt. Let's switch to the other side of the ball, which is your favorite side yeah. all the time. Defense. They can't score. They can't win. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you, Coach. Defensively here, yeah. what do you see with this new football team of yours? Well, a lot of speed on defense, mm -hmm. uh, and that's kind of why we went to the 3-4, put them, them them guys that can run out there. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, believe it or not, big old Mango can run. Can he? Yeah, he can run. Well, he's played basketball. Yeah, he can run. He's now. a basketball player, really so yeah. Can. So, um, all those guys can run, and uh -huh. so that's what we're going. We're going to get after them like that. And you, you know yourself. You, we, you win with defense. Mm -hmm. You know, you win with defense. And so we're going to try to control the ball on offense, and 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 then uh, defensively, we're going. You know, let them play and run and hit and cause turnovers. Maybe there you go. That's right. Special teams always an important always. part of high school football. Always. How are you seeing special teams working uh, out in the summer? You know, right now? Doing real well. Uh, we got a couple of kickers, mm -hmm. you know, young guys, mm -hmm. real young, and uh, so hopefully that's that's the important part though. Them kickers now is important. No know. question about it. You win or lose a game yes, by sir. a lot of those kicking, that's a lot right. of those kicks. That's right, Coach. Unfortunately, your seniors only get one year with you. That's right. So how young are you? What do you? What does it look like behind these senior class? Yeah, you we, got a pretty good senior class this year. Yeah, we do. We have a good senior class, but we're fairly young. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, we got like I think there's. 29 juniors. Wow. You know, and 25 sophomores. And, uh, wow, that's fantastic. You know, so, so that's, that's going to that's gonna, Building. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we got 12 seniors, but they're good ones now. I know, though, there's no question about it. Uh, there, there's no question about it. Good. Well, unfortunately, like I said, they only get one year with That's you, right. but they're going to be right. blessed with this one year. We, I can we, tell you that. We're going to have a good time with them. Now, I've known you from Madison. It's been so fun, wonderful watching yeah. you down there and winning all those championships down there. We just wish you nothing but the best up here. I, I have that. one more question okay. for you. Right. Have you dealt with the Nats yet? Woo, let me tell you, there's some Nats up here. <laughs> Coach, you're in the Nat capital of the world. I, I, that's what somebody earlier. told me. It was a Nat festival here somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you'll get to, you'll probably be, uh, uh, you know, the headmaster of that next year. So, uh, we wish you nothing but the best. Coach, Appreciate it. Thank it's you. good to have you yes, in Georgia. Sir. Good to be here. They're blessed to have you. Yeah, I'm blessed to be here. Good luck to you in 2000. Thank you. Thank you so much. County High School, home of the Eagles, who soared high in 2010. I'm here with head coach Dondrielle Pinkins. Coach, 
Good to see you again. You too, you too. Great year last year, Coach. 7-0, and region champs. How's that feel? Uh, it feels great. Uh, I feel great. I, I think it gives my guys something to come back and, you know, look forward to this year. Uh, they've been doing a tremendous job this summer, and hopefully we can come back and, you know, uh, defend our region title and, and try to win it again. You were just saying a second ago, haven't been region champ since 99, since your senior year. I mean, that's, that's, that's pretty remarkable. Now, this is your third year coming in. Yes, sir. And you've won your region champs here in the second year. Wow. What, what, what's the next step? Uh, the next step is to try to win the region again, and hopefully this year I advance further in the playoffs and hopefully I'll push for a state title. No doubt, Coach. I tell you what, you've got all the skills and everything as far as a coach that can make that happen. And uh, let me ask you a question. What are you guys doing this summer to make that happen? Uh, basically just trying to prepare the guys mentally, uh, physically, and, and get them in the best of shape and, and hopefully be prepared You know, when the season starts and push week by week and hopefully get better as we go on through the year. What's the message been this summer? Uh, just basically just work hard, uh, dedication, teamwork, uh, family first, uh, team first, me second, and uh, put yourself before the, uh, put the team before yourself and, and continue to push and hopefully uh, the hard work will pay off eventually. Anything different this summer that you're doing that, than past summers? Uh, I think this summer we're just taking more time, uh, board work, film study, uh, uh, the mental aspect. Uh, I think mentally, if you're prepared, I think the physical part will take care of itself. So has it been the same kind of attitude you guys had this summer, or has it kind of fell off? You guys are champs. Everybody kind of relaxing a little bit. Yeah, we're champs. Or is there more motivation here in summer camp? Yeah, more uh, more, more to motivation. Get, trying, motivation. To be, trying to be better than what we were. Trying to get that, uh, that state championship. Region's not enough, is it? No, no sir. sir. So you want more than that, than that region. You've yeah, had a sir. taste of the region. You want more, don't you? Well, yes, sir. Unfortunately, ending too early last year in the playoffs. So what are you guys doing this summer to get past that hump? I feel basically we're really getting stronger because everybody say that the better Chris was stronger than us. So basically we're getting very, very strong than we was. This summer we're coming out working hard. Well, we come out here too. We can't. We come out here like morning, afternoon, put in, put in the work all day. What's been the message from the coaches this summer, as far as chemistry and stuff like that? What are they telling you guys to do, a little different that you've heard that you haven't heard in the past? Uh, basically, it's the same thing. We just have a step up our game. We have a lot of freshmen coming in, and we're just trying to teach them, um, teach them the system. Just trying to get them ready, get them ready to play. Leadership. It's our biggest thing, leadership. You need a lot of it. You guys are seniors this year, big men on campus. Yeah. Huh? Yes, sir. Four years it took yeah, you to good. get to this spot. Now, what yeah, in the past good. now, you mentioned earlier that you guys had a good lead, senior leadership last year, a lot of key position players and stuff like that. They're gone now. What did you learn from them from last year? You got to go hard every play. Yeah. You got to go hard every play. Any play can be your last. No doubt about that, right? And you just don't got to practice when the coach tell you to practice. You got to practice on your own, too. You did that a lot. You can't go hard in the game. You got to go hard at practice. You got to go hard in the weight room. The season started this summer. And it taught us to be better students and players. Stop all the playing. Region champs, how's that feel? <laughs> it's awesome. To me, you know, for the first time, you know, and not just the region champs, you know, the record. You know, Coach Pink's been here for a while, and, you know, this is his first really winning season, you know, so that feels good as well. You know, we're just going to go out this year and, you know, push for more than just region champs, you know, state champs too. Absolutely. Mizell? Yeah, it feels really great, though. We've been working hard. I know Coach Pink has been waiting on this for a long time. It just feel really great because we've been working hard since our freshman year, eighth grade year. It just feel really great. Joe Quill, you're a junior. You've been in the system now for this is your third year in the system. How does it feel to be a region champ? Feel yeah, great getting a coach success and team success for all the hard work we put in. Put in. What are we looking for here in 2011 from the Eagles? Uh, offensively. We're looking for bigger and better things. Uh, this is uh, actually going into my fourth year coaching, uh, third year as the, the full head coach. And uh, this senior class I have coming up has spent three years in the system going into the fourth year. So uh, I think they have a, a better knowledge of the offense. And uh, we're just expecting a lot of things out of them. Uh, we lost some key guys last year, uh, three linemen that uh, were three-year starters. 
Uh, we lost two guys that went on, uh, skilled guys. One went to UGA, uh, Justin Scott Wesley. One went to Albany State, uh, Jesse Atkins. Uh, to replace those guys are going to be big for us. And we got some guys that I think that are going to be very capable of stepping up and doing that. When's the last time Mitchell County had somebody go to like a University of Georgia Division One like that? I think it was uh, back in 2000 when I went on to the University of South Carolina. I was gonna, I, that's what I wanted to bring up. Uh, I get a little uh, props to you. And hopefully we can keep this thing going and hopefully get another guy two each year, you know, to go to a big time program. No doubt, coach. And uh, let's let's switch go go on the other side of the football defensively. How do you guys look this year? Uh, we look great. Uh, we have uh, eight guys returning that started last year. Uh, we have about 10 that played a significant role on defense last year. And, uh, Kerry English, uh, Jermaine King has done a great job with the defense. Uh, been preparing all summer, and, and hopefully that hard work is going to pay off. And we won't miss a beat on defense. Coach, special teams always a big part of the game. Maybe not so much down in high school as people like to think, but it is still very important down here. I mean, a kicker kick win here and there could win a ball game or lose a ball game for you. So how are you looking on special teams? Exactly. Uh, we're we're going to be great on special teams. Uh, we returned a lot of guys that had uh, you know significant amount of time on special teams last year. And that's the third phase of the game, but I think it's the most important phase. Uh, field position plays a, a vital role, you know, in winning Friday night. So uh, hopefully, you know, we can come out and continue to excel in special teams and, and, and play a good, a good role in special teams this year. Coach, you, you said it again. You would like to defend that title here, Region One Double A. Yes. Coach, predictions. Can you do it? Uh, I don't want to make. I'm, I'm gonna put you on. I'm put you on the spot right now. I'm gonna stir the pot a little bit. Can you do it? <laughs> I, I'll be on the spot. I think this year I, I'm hoping it comes back between you know the top four last year was us Seminole, uh, Miller was the top three, uh, and we didn't play Miller. I meant Seminole last year due to the the right. ball and they right. had the suspension. So if it comes back down to those three teams being the top three, hopefully we'll just get a chance to compete for it and and just go from there. No doubt. Coach Pinkins, ready for 2011 here in Eagle Territory. Coach, thanks so much for being with us. Thank you. These linemen don't work here. Uh-oh, we're not supposed to be here. Uh-uh. And these linemen don't play here. This can't be good. Uh-uh. These linemen make sure these linemen have a place to play on Friday night. We are Mitchell EMC, providing Friday night lights in Southwest Georgia for the last 75 years. Yeah! This is Crystal with Varsity Sports Extra. We hope you've enjoyed our 2011 high school football preview. Our philosophy at Varsity Sports Extra is the same as with every coach and player that plays high school athletics. We focus on faith, family, school, and our country. Being a veteran myself, we believe in this great country and what it stands for. Varsity Sports Extra would like to take a moment to salute our men and women serving in our armed forces here and abroad protecting our freedom. Without their sacrifices, we would not be able to do something like this. So from all of us at Varsity Sports Extra, thank you and God bless. Your Marine Corps' way of life is to defend the American way of life. stand for our nation, for each other, for us all, the few, the proud, the Marines.